face. And when this food is ready, I'ma have you bring the plate. Oh, I can't wait to see the look up on this page. We about to set them up. I feel like some of y'all about to set somebody up. Or somebody's trying to set you up. We about to set them up. Let's see what's going on. Hi, everyone. This is the Empress. I'm here to do you guys this general read, okay? So, let's see what messages we got for the Scorpio. All right, so we got digital detox. Some of y'all are detoxing from social media. Yeah, see, some of y'all are, you know, this is benching. Putting someone on hold has potential, but not sure yet. Waiting, maybe grass is greener. So something's kind of like on hold, okay? So it's kind of like you're detoxing from someone or possibly from social media. Something's on hold, okay? Now we got Slay. Succeeding in something, dominating your competition, on point, amazing job, and also thirsty, needing validation, fishing for compliments, desperate, horny, too eager. All right, so somebody's coming off too eager. Like somebody looks good as hell, but somebody's coming off too eager. Some of y'all are like, yeah, bye Felicia, because look, you're doing too much over here. You might be getting trolled on social media, so you decide to take a, a detox from social media. And somebody may have gotten ghosted or is getting ready to be ghosted, okay? Somebody looks like they are focusing on their, their responsibilities, okay? Wow. Tell me what else. What other messages are there for the Scorpio? We got shook. All right. So somebody's surprised that they got benched. Okay. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. But somebody got benched. Somebody got put on hold. Okay. Somebody definitely got put on hold. And it could be someone younger. Okay. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Somebody want to put somebody on blast. I'm telling you. Somebody want to put somebody on blast. You could be dealing with somebody younger. This person wants to be, wants to put you on blast or you want to put this younger person here on blast. All right, we got bread crumbing. So somebody is getting like the shit end of the stick. Somebody playing mind games, not wanting to commit, keeping options open, avoiding making any real effort. Okay, so. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It looks like. You guys could be surprised that somebody is going on a digital detox. I'm getting a couple storylines. You could be surprised that this person is going on a digital detox. This person is younger than you possibly. And this person likes, looks really, really attractive. Like they slay, um, they slay in the attractive era, area or, you know, anything that they do. They are slaying it, slaying their goals. But they're still being breadcrumbed. Now, if this is you, you're slaying, you're doing everything that you can, you're dominating your competition. And then some of y'all got a bunch of thirsty men or women in your DMs. But these people so thirsty, but they, they ain't trying to, they're not trying to commit. They playing mind games. They're not, it ain't nothing real. Like, you feel like this person is playing mind games with you. This is what I'm getting. I feel like this is you guys' energy. I don't think this is someone else's energy that you're dealing with. I think this is you guys' energy. Y'all are detoxing. Focusing on your goals. Keeping it cute. 
But somebody's playing mind games. Maybe you feel like you're coming off as like thirsty. And this person is breadcrumbing you. Tell me more about thirsty. Hmm. Somebody's in their feelings, okay? We can talk about somebody in their feelings, okay? Somebody's being too eager, like doing too much. Why is bread coming here? The texture. Okay, so this is you communicating back and forth with somebody. And they're like, their energy just ain't there. Like, it's not popping. It's not giving what it's supposed to be giving. They may have some options. They're not putting in a real effort. You feel like they're playing mind games with you. All right. So, you feel like you are getting played. That's what it looks like. It's like somebody's playing mind games. They're not putting in no effort. So, let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is doing. How does this person feel about Scorpio? Hmm. Could be a Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or this person may have a lot of fire in their chart. How does this person feel about Scorpio? All right, we got the devil here at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or the situation is kind of toxic. But I'm also seeing here like their intuition could be telling them that this is a sexual connection. Okay, that maybe this is all this is. They're not trying to have any regrets here with this five of cups. They feel like they'll regret putting in the effort. Um, and they feel like it's just a sexual connection. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we got that Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, the Strength card, Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person is very, very noncommittal, and they don't want to. This person is like, here one minute, they gone the next, for sure, for sure. Why is the Queen of Swords here? King of Swords. Woo. I'm getting somebody mirroring. Maybe they are, they feel like they're mirroring your energy. They are watching you. They like you, but they just feel like, like maybe things need to be put on hold or slowed down. Okay, but I am getting a mirror energy. This person, in their eyes, they're like, they're mirroring your energy. King of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. King of Wands. Lots of different people here. This person could be seeing other people as well. Okay, because I got three different male energies here. Four different male energies. This person could definitely be... Um, Seeing other people, okay? Yeah, this person feels like they are single, okay? So they're venturing out, and they are kind of like all over the place with this Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Their energy is Six of Swords. So it's like they're just coasting through. Like, they aren't very noncommittal. They aren't. They are playing the field. That's exactly what it looks like to me. Now, we got the Strength card here. could be a Leo. All right, so maybe they're trying to find the confidence to tell you, um, yeah, that they changed their mind, that they changed, this person changed their mind, okay? This person has changed their mind. They decided to put things on hold, um, and they're holding back. Their guard is up. Either way, their guard is up and they're holding back. They feel like they can come back whenever they get ready. They feel like they can come back to the situation when they are ready, Um but they are, yeah, they have options for sure. 
that was confirmation. Um, and they feel like you aren't going to too much make any moves, okay? Like, they feel like you aren't making any moves. They feel like this situation is, um, in the past, it looks like it's kind of, like, outdated, um, not interested. This is their energy. Like, I'm getting no fun, no excitement. So, maybe they feel like they need some excitement in their life. Um, so this is what they're doing. I definitely do see that this person definitely has a multitude of options. Okay, now four of wands is in the near future. I see somebody asking somebody to come over. Asking to link up. But be careful because this person could be very sneaky um, with the Seven of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles. Like, this person gives me sneaky vibes. Yeah, like, they'll take what they can get and then leave, okay? So, this person is very, like, I'm telling you, they're very in and out. It's like in and out, in and out, okay? The way that they move. They hear one minute and go on the next. I'm telling you. This leaves you feeling uncertain with this Two of Swords. You're not sure what this person is thinking because they're too guarded. Let's see what this person plans is. Okay, so they do plan on communicating and reaching out to you. They want to. But I feel like this person is holding back. They're holding back because they could possibly already be in a relationship with this Ten of Cups. Yep. There's the Emperor here. This could be a baby mother, baby father situation. This person could already um, be in something when they are trying to... Um, to keep a handle on what they have already going on. Could be a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person could already be in a situation. Two of Cups. This person could already be in a situation. Okay. This person, um, I'm telling you, is, is playing the field. For sure, for sure. This person is for sure, for sure playing the field. They put you on hold and they come back to it whenever they, they get ready. Okay, this leaves you feeling like unsure because you don't, you can't get into this person's mind. This person is so closed off. Like, this person is extremely closed off. But they're closed off for a reason. It's because they have, they're juggling. They are juggling. Okay, tell me this person's intentions towards Scorpio. All right, so we have the sword and rose. So this person's intentions is to gain clarity or get some type of truth or to speak their truth to you. Okay, yeah, see, I'm getting like, this person likes you. We got, I like you. This person does like you, okay? They flirt with you. They, they, they entertain you, okay? But when it comes to passion, and that fire and desire we got not today so this person is like i like you and everything but dang it's like you know maybe there's too much of a space between you two we got separation and palm tree maybe there's too much distance maybe this person is at a distance but i'm getting like there's a separation like a, you guys are separate from each other and then someone reaches out and calls and then somebody feels like they have to chase here Okay, somebody got stabbed in the back. Maybe there's someone that you dealt with previously, but this could have been a karmic relationship and somebody stabbed somebody in the back and left this person heartbroken. So this person is, you know, dealing with their own issues at the same time, their own traumas and dealing with relationships at the same time. But this person does want to reach out and give you some type of clarity. But I feel like, like I said, this person likes you, but they're not, they're not... With not today, this is saying then they're not dealing with it. They're avoiding the conversation. They have boundaries, and they're still angry about something. All right? Confirmation again. 
All right, so that's the message that I have for Scorpio. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Until next time, guys. Ciao.